Convo War. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to Comic Convos. Back for another episode of the great things in the Geekverse. This week, we're talking a lot about the Inhumans. Inhumans. We're super excited. Super yes. excited to talk about the Inhumans, guys. Like, it's coming up tomorrow. Super. They're releasing the first two episodes in IMAX theaters, which, as we know, it looks to be really... Really decent. I thought uh, when I actually saw the full trailer, I was impressed. Hey, welcome, Izzy. What's up, Izzy? Good to see you, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming, coming back. Here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are talking Inhumans. Definitely Inhumans. And so I've heard, like, I've been seeing a lot of the early reviews. What's in. up, Judson? Hello, Judson Smith. Thank you for coming through. Uh, but the thing about the early reviews is there's two problems. One, you've seen one episode of a series. Two, Critics are always harsher. Yeah, and they're always, always going to chop it up, especially at the beginning. They're like, oh, it starts so slow. That's every Marvel series Sh Jesus, ever. Like, even Legion yeah. is super slow super until slow you get like halfway through the first episode. Maybe, maybe even 75%. Yeah, through, I would dude. say probably about 75%. Because What's up, DH? Hey, DH. Dude, so good to see you, man. Definitely. Good to see you too, Judson. Thanks for coming out, y'all. What do you think? Are you going to go see Inhumans? Anyone? I'm pretty sure me, Leo, and uh, Izzy, Izzy are going to go tomorrow. To, yeah, as long as we go. figure out the timings. Shoot, let and us know. I'm super hyped for it. Like, I can't wait. The Inhumans contain some of my like favorite characters. Especially fringe characters that just don't, despite being either powerful or interesting or creative, whatever, just don't see main Marvel continuity mm -hmm. because of whatever reason. Yeah, you know Inhumans, I, mean? I feel like, aren't really nudged as main. Like, I can't speak for lately, because obviously I haven't been reading the comics yeah, lately. I would say lately has been the big difference. Since S.H.I.E.L.D. touched on them in season, like, three, hmm. they've been huge in the Oh, comics. yeah, I'm sure. What... Oh, we got some comments. Hello. Nice to see you guys. You nice too, to man. Nice to see you too, man. No IMAX close to me. Sadness. Ah, uh, that does But that. aren't they going to show it in the theater? Do you know where Do it's you know where it's playing? It's anywhere you have an IMAX. Uh, yeah, any IMAX theater, um, Colorado Boulevard. Uh, pff, there, are, there are a lot of them. That's Assu assuming, one, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, Colorado Boulevard has two showings tomorrow for 7 and 10 o'clock. That's awesome. I'm, I'm super hyped for this one. And like... Yeah, me too. Like, there's a lot of reasons. So... The Inhumans have a really good spread of the cast, and they have a really good origin. So, like, the Inhumans being basically, like, the Kree version of mutants, I'd say, in the Marvel Universe. And for those who don't know about them, like, basically how it works is the Inhumans have, like, interbred with humans throughout history. And as a result, thousands, possibly millions of humans contain inhuman DNA, which is activated by the Terrigen Mist. Mist. Yep. And yeah. That's like a whole process when they get a certain age. Marvel shifted the focus so to inhumans humans over X. Yeah, or yeah. They definitely did do that, DH. I uh, I saw that, especially even before even before IVX, there's just like a year or two period where even before that though, they've been smashing the whole all really? the mutants have been getting smashed since M Day, yeah. basically. <laughs> they've been trying to kind of die them down. Dialed them down really, really heavy since M Day. I mean, that's just that was their goal at the time. I'm hoping with the Inhumans, they portray Black Bolt really well. Um, that's who I'm looking oh, forward man. to. I want to see how I, he's written, I how powerful to. he will be without that's, speaking. That's my and the thing is, like Black Bolt is always like that's. It's not as hard to write a non speak. It's honestly easier to make a non speaking character powerful. Yeah, because of their lack of speech. But yeah, their power of influence, right? Even but though they lack yes, it. and so we also have to see you know his emotional thing. But I'm worried about his actual power display in this yeah. because because yep. Black Bolt is by definition in Marvel like one of the strongest characters. Yep, I don't feel like they dialing them down now. A lot of X. -Men they comics. have come out with a lot more X Men comics since. Uh, recently, it's actually been very recently that they did it. We're only like nine or ten or chapters in or something, mm. maybe. But prior to that, I would say it was very heavy day stomping on mutants. And that that's not to say they don't have a lot of comics, but it's more about how they're treated in the Marvel Universe, Izzy. Like, I mean, yeah, they've just so, been smashing them for Well, one of my time. big examples is, like, I can't remember which series it is, but there's a series where they're looking for Nightcrawler at the beginning of... Or at the beginning of the, the new Marvel Universe following Secret Wars. 
2015. And basically, they're in Germany looking for him. They can't find him. And they find him, and he's like, per- he's like, can't talk or things. I'm like, what's wrong with him? And it's just like, that's weird. <laughs> well, what happened was like, there's like a mass grave or something of like people they thought were mutants in Germany. And there's like 600 people or something. Yeah, all buried in like a mass grave. It's like that kind of stuff has been happening to them now for hmm. quite a while. And even just so more so, like now it's like a big thing that, oh, all mutants, especially since AVX, it's like, oh, all mutants are dangerous. They took over the world. And- yeah, I hear you, man. Circling back around to Inhumans, um, do you mean like display as in like how big his power will actually be? Yes. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, this guy has the power to literally shatter mountains. Like, it's, it, they say it in the first issue of the 1998 comic that he has the power to open his mouth and shatter mountains, destroy landscapes. Yeah, I was a little uh, concerned too. So we have two comments. One's from Izzy. X Men uh, Gold, X Men Blue, Cable. Ones. Yeah, X Men Gold is decent, awesome as shit too. There's That's a decent amount of them, but like I said, it's more about how they're how the mutants are treated in the universe, not how popular they are, because they've always been popular. I mean, there's no point in since their creation where they've really took a dip, I believe. I mean, they had spikes in the 90s and then again in 2000s. Do you mean with, like, the public conscious or, like, just, just how much they're published in comics? Comics. Okay, yeah. I mean, I never felt like there was just this super overflow, at least lately, of mutant. Like, I, I know that's a lot, but... Uh, hey, Dude, what's ever. up, Ever? Welcome back, buddy. And then we got Tangent on Black Bolt's power. Medusa's hair looks kind of strange from previews. I'm a little concerned. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, blue Medusa's and gold hair are looks good. Weird. Actually, I wasn't. I'm not a fan of the new Jean Grey, but her series of Jean Grey is actually the best depiction of her, mm. and I actually like it. And the new one's pretty cool. I just read it. Um, Cable's a little boring. Uh, I will say I've been reading uh, that one. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't. Generation X is also a little meh, but not for the same reason. Uh, Weapon X, super cool, and a couple other ones, super cool. Astonishing X-Men's pretty good. Um, but yeah, if you just take the look at the mutant community in general, it gets trashed. You guys doing anything oh, for wow. Force Friday? I know it's off topic, but thought I'd ask. Uh, not e- specifically yet, but we were you know, probably guess, planning uh, something. Hey, that might be dope. Do you guys know where the old NES original alt-universe X-Men came from? Wait, old NES? Oh, the... Nintendo. Right, I'm just trying to figure out which ones. It's probably Age of Apocalypse, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, Old Man Logan and Weapon X. I yeah, I knew it. I was going to say there were a couple more. Like I said, Izzy, they're always prevalent in the comics, but it's about how they're treated in the comics. Like I said, for for until I've, the end of IVX, everyone was just kind of content to let mutant kind die off to the Terrigen Mist. Yeah. While the Inhumans <laughs> While went the around Inhumans with, like, soup. Well, it wasn't just that. At the time, like, they were treating all of the Inhumans with like this super amount of diplomacy and like crazy like royal status They're, like definitely it, it was ridiculous like if, if humans in, in where it was good I'll be surprised Scott Buck is responsible for messing up the first season of Iron Fist yeah, it wasn't uh, that bad not Ness new chance, uh, the new alternate usage version of the X-Men uh, is uh, the past version of an X-Men that have been pulled through time by Beast I believe uh, oh, yeah, right. that's right. X-Men Gold? Yeah. yeah, they've been pulled out of time. With the exception of these. Jimmy Hudson, who is from the Ultimate Universe X-Men. That's right. Yeah, but it's He's an cool to see character. that, and I love to see the old versions of the I characters. I actually don't like that character very much, though. Ooh. He's like uh, Jimmy Hudson. Oh, I, li- I was talking about the team itself. Oh, the team is really cool. Although the dynamic has changed so much, dude, like... So, like, now, I don't know how f- caught up you are or if you plan to read these series or not in the immediate future. I mean, X-Men Gold is one of them I'm keeping up with. Okay, so I don't remember if... I think they just released this week. Have you read this week's one? It doesn't matter if no. you have or not. No, it's no. it's pretty prevalent. But then you know that past Beast has been messing around with magic, with magic for a little while stuff, now. Yeah. And so, like, that's a real big bluff. Oh, also, <laughs> we got another comment. Noah Lack. La Covada, I'm hey, thanks, guess. man. I didn't get to hear what you guys said about it. What did you think of episode of the episodes of Inhumans? Unfortunately, we have not we seen, seen it yet. yet. Unfortunately, but we are definitely planning on seeing it tomorrow. Hopefully, we will give a little bit of a no spoilers review next week. What we try to do is kind of amp up the coming weeks 
uh, you know, movie or TV show because our cast is usually on Thursday, right? Either when it's showing, or, or before the it's day before. Yeah. yeah. So it's easier for us to do that, and then the next week we do small noise spoilers review and focus on things to come. Or if there's really nothing going on, we'll do it. We'll do just a review. review. Yeah. Like Which Spider Man you know, Homecoming was huge. Oh yeah, we had, we had to Wonder that. Woman. We had two uh, <sighs> Guardians. We had two, you know any Star of the Star Wars. Ones, oh my gosh! Every time we do those Star Wars, yeah, every, the Star Wars <laughs> every ones time. explode every time. And so, yeah, that's uh, unfortunately we haven't seen it yet, Noah. You, you know, but we if will you let have, you know. definitely uh, yeah, give us, us some input, man. I right. mean, no spoiling, please. But I've heard a some lot of input. Uh, would be great. I, I will admit, though, like the trailer, the initial like kind of teaser was not impressive to me. And then when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, this has potential. The trailer. So, can we play that again? Yeah, I love let's the let's check it out. So man. I love that. Let's trailer. check it out. And I'm so. I down. think that like switched me around because I was also. Very concerned about two things. Uh, Medusa's hair, which you discussed earlier, I, mm -hmm. looks terrible. It does. Now, the movie... <laughs> Even some of the costumes look kind of... Yeah, the, uh, all the costumes look kind of... But... I think Maximus looks okay. He's the only one, though. Yeah. Like, Gorgon <laughs> doesn't look quite right. Karnax, like, meh. Mm, Actually, even, uh... Black Bolt looks okay Black Bolt okay looks okay. M Medusa, meh. And then, uh, tr oh, I think it's Medusa Triton. Medusa looks awful. Is it Triton? Like I just can't get over Black the Bolt fact that needs I know his mask. Yes. Can I have the? Can I have my wishbone, please? <laughs> nah, please. No mask. No mask. Wishbone. Guys. Wishbone. Wishbone. Okay. Uh, Lockjaw we'll is dope, though. Lockjaw is awesome, and I'm hoping that they put all their money into CG, and that's why the video. The I'm hoping so too, man. Because like, like, let's hope Black Bolt just knocks him. Wait, like, this isn't the right down. one, is it? That's the SDCC one. That one's good. Is it that one though, or is it one that says it's that one? I think it is this one. Yeah, July twenty. Great. Yeah, music. that's it. Okay, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna turn it up real quick. All right. Also, this song makes it. Be careful. Last time we got a. Uh... Sorry, we're not showing the video. Yeah, like, we're not. Nah, we're just. Oh, checking man, this is such out. a good thing. I've been looking for you. So what good. are you? So I want to get a better look at this. So there's Triton. What if I told you Triton. this place where people have powers? Oh, and she's got to be a... Oh, wow, man. They have a lot of them that they don't display a lot. There's some good references just in this trailer. We're in humans. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Oh, what is her name? Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this. Someone's behind. Brother. Sooner or later, the humans are going to fight. I'm looking forward to him like playing a psycho dude. Maximus is crazy. Yeah, Maximus is very crazy. <laughs> Talk so selfish. We need to go to Earth now. We need to strike first. It would only lead to war. Are you speaking for yourself or for our king? Okay, so that's who goes. Maximus is trying to take over Adelan. Are you going to kill your only brother? Ew. <sighs> A police car, though? One second, I want to see that last Medusa scene real quick. It looks better in transition. Yeah, I like I'm it in impressed. transition. Your new king. Yes. I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like anyone's done the hair thing. Let's see. No, not on TV, at least, as far as I know. I do like the music choice of the trailer. Yes, it matches good. their cause a lot. Man, if they make this far, if they make this far enough down the road, I'll be excited. If Miss Marvel shows up, I love Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan is a pretty yeah. cool character. I like. Kamala Khan, it's funny because I'm not a huge Kamala Khan or Miles Morales fan until oh, uh, they're good characters, but it's just like Miles I'm not, Morales is awesome. He's man. a cool guy, but I don't know. I feel Ultimate like his Spider Man is so good. I mean, he's yeah, he's better in Ultimate Spider Man than he is in his current series. Do you know? Have you been reading his current mm, Miles no, Morales? It's not that. Yeah, that's interesting to me. Yeah. So I was like, eh, I mean, the that's problem been is quite Miles. The... Miles, outside the context of Peter's death as Spider-Man, mm -hmm. for example, in the current universe, much less compelling. 
Like, he just loses a lot of that individual I found myself dynamic. so bored, like, reading the first couple issues, man, and I was like, eh, just... Yeah, and so, I like those two characters much better when they interact together, because I feel like, individually, their their characters are not Lack necessarily... Luster. Yeah, like, Miles is a cool character, but he's the typical kid character layered on with the his racial background. You yep. know what I mean? Which is cool, and I love that they do that, and that was the best part. I mean, of course. Part. That was and the then, best part. Of the yeah, when he was created, that was the best part about it. It was like, yes, we have like a black and Hispanic Spider-Man. Oh, and then there's the whole thing with his everything. father and his grandmother. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff there that like people don't take. And that really helps develop his character. Like I said, without that being so present in the new stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's there. But, but it's, it's not as strongly represented. No, it's, it's very, not... very Molly, like, kind of low, low end of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, we want to focus more on him being Spider-Man than then... how being Spider-Man affects life, which is not yeah, how Spider-Man which is what's first. cool. Like, you know, we see how being Spider-Man does affect Peter's life and does affect Miles' life later on. And that's the best part about Spider-Man is you generally have a character where you see the repercussions of his heroics immediately take effect after his actions. Speaking of which, this one's a little slightly different, but in the kind, same, kind, same kind of context of uh, that individual versus their hero is I've been reading Iron Man, the Demon in the Bottle uh, arc, which is his whole alcoholic arc. Uh, oh, oh yeah, boy. that's the that's the where the alcoholic Tony mm -hmm. springs from. Is yeah, I've definitely read some of those. It is definitely interesting to like see, especially the way they portray it is so beautiful in this one, because it's like Tony doesn't even realize for a while, you know what I mean? Like there's this whole like five chapter spread where he's like, I had this thing off in the armor and like the repulsors went fire and he checks and double checks and triple checks the armor and he can't find anything wrong with it. You know what I mean? And Damn. and And not knowing I would be like, whatever, but knowing what the demon in the bottle arc is about. It's easy to already pinpoint these kind of things where it's like, oh, wait a minute. The alcoholism? The alcoholism might be taking its effect on you, Stark. Yeah. Also, we did not quite finish them. <laughs> oh, wow, there is a piece left. I'm as your new king. After all, don't put the blame on me. Never. Jeez, Maximus is definitely one of those characters. Ah, uh, we're not done. Oh, my God. It <laughs> looks so close. You're just a human. Oh, that's right, because Maximus doesn't have any human powers. Nope. Although, to be fair, neither does Karnak. Karnak there you has, go. Has that's nothing. Oh, look, we're updating. Do you Sweet. think Michael Bendis is a good writer, though, for a black Hispanic character when he is white? No, but, you know, that it doesn't matter as long as he gets the context. Yeah, right. I, I feel like it, as long as he can portray it in a like I said, prior good to this, way, you know what I'm I mean? Although, was that. it Bendis who was writing the original Ultimate series? Uh, Let's go see. I don't think so. Let's see. Miles Morales... Intro. I'm just gonna check look out for... Milligan and McCarthy's work. Great comics. Oh, I'll definitely have to check them out. Yeah, thanks for the recommendation, Ethan. Definitely. All right, first appearance, Ultimate Fallout. Well, Maximus well, I... has powers. Does he? Does he gain them? Maybe he just doesn't in this one. Yeah, he created. He created him. Okay, he created him. Hmm. I should say, like... Oh, uh, but he's also created by Sarah Pichel. That was she's, a white chick. Yep, well, Italian, but still. And she's mostly the illustrator, it looks like. Hmm. And he's a writer. I'm guessing, or at least the original... Sorry, but the thing is, created by and written are also two different things. Mm -hmm. So if we go by that... I mean, it might be the same, though. For as far as I know, he's done the entire uh, run through with that character. Oh come on! This, do I really? He's had that? no other writers. That's what you're saying? I don't know. I'm not, I haven't seen yet. Yeah, he uh, has mind control. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, because he was mind controlling Maz in uh, the 1998. Right, but is that an inhuman power? Was that his inhuman power, or did he... Did he, uh, like, somehow gain that through some other... I think it might be, though. Experience? It probably is. I mean, most inhumans have a power. That's the whole point. Maximus doesn't get talked about as much as... Gifted inventor. Mental powers. Mental powers. 
Those are interesting. He did get exposed to the mist, so... That says he can override and even efface a person's mind. Short-term amnesia and exchange of consciousness. No one was up like, with her being like, you're only a human. Maybe they've made a change in this. Uh, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Because I didn't know what it means with the mental control because he was doing it to Nas or Maz or whatever. In the I felt like he had powers. future kings and they say he has the power from Inhuman. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely an Inhuman trait because he went through the Terrigen Mist. And yeah, as long so. as he went through Terrigen, then that's, that's all it is. Is his thing. It's just he doesn't seem to use it as often as I would expect him to. Rarely, I, I he uses feel. his genius level intellect, I think, but maybe I th that they talk about it is it seems like that power has varying efficiency. Mm. Like it's, it doesn't so seem it like may he's work. Really it doesn't well, well sometimes. Not yeah, better. it doesn't seem like he's necessarily a Maxwell Lord or anything. Mm, okay, so his powers aren't even that consistent. They might be, but I when I see Maximus, he's usually plotting, mm -hmm. not yeah, not moving mountains like Magneto or something. Well, and even more than that, like, he just, he doesn't need to fight or take control of people's minds to, uh, win. Like, he's always been good at pitting people against each other, specifically the royal family. Uh, more Miles stuff. I was trying to figure out where the, what his main run is, but it's just probably Ultimate Spider-Man. That's what I'd assume. That's actually a decent animated series. Uh, the Spider-Man Unlimited or whatever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. I uh, I didn't like the S.H.I.E.L.D. involvement as much. It was cool because it let him interact with people, but... But at the same time, I hear you. It's like, do we really need these goons? Like I said, I'm more excited to see how what they do with Karnak in this one. So we have Inhumans coming up, and then... What is the... <laughs> What's Next? the show coming up with uh, Squirrel Girl? Oh, New Warriors? <laughs> New Warriors looks terrible. Um, Punisher looks great, too, by the way, guys. Oh, my goodness. That yeah, I can't scene wait. That yeah. the end of uh, Defenders. I was oh, like, have you not yeah. seen his his trailer? Mm-hmm. Okay, I yeah, was going to say, his trailer is freaking awesome. Dude, shoot it up. It's like, I'm, I, I love this trailer. They just released it, I think, last week or the week before. And it was just exactly what you wanted it to be. I guess it's more of a... No, not that one. Is this it? I don't know. I don't know why it's so hard to find these sometimes. <laughs> Try the top one, bro. No, that one's the one where he's in the at the end of the Defenders. Mm. He has yeah, I see a, the Defenders. He has a trailer I've already seen. And I don't know why it's... I think this is it. This is it. Yeah, this is exactly it. Well, I can't wait to see because it looks like they're making him like this government, yes, you know, spy or agent or assassin or something. Yeah, just something like he's. That's what he's gonna be dealing with is more that kind of stuff. I also love that the new uh, logo is interesting. I like too oh, that they okay, did this. Yeah, this was like the logo. It was the teaser. Yeah, the little the small graphic. And then the reveal. It looks so good, Axel. Like, this looks like the best Although, one out of all of them. It does. To be fair, though, someone made a good point to me. It was actually Mikey. Made a good point to me the other day that he thought, uh... I don't know, what's his name? John Bernathal? Yeah. Is a little small to play Frank, and he's not wrong. He's a little I small to play Frank. Like I said, I pass it because of the acting, but if I were to objectively step back and look at him, he's a very small Punisher. Yeah, he could do, get a little bit of size, too. I hear well, you. Like, even this. Like, I could see him bulking up, but, like, just currently, you know what I mean? He looks. It reminds me of the old Hugh Jackman look. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Phone. <laughs> phone down, phone down. All right. There we go, though. 
the Punisher That's awesome, though. Guys. I want to read more. Uh, I want to read more Inhuman stuff, though, especially like Me the War too. of the Kings. The War That's of the Kings. That's what Izzy was saying. He was well, he's reading Future, Future Kings, Kings, which is uh, one of their older series, which is super great. It's awesome. Most of what I've read from them, though, has been recent stuff, like to do with Black Bolt and Medusa's son and Kang and a bunch of other crap. Oh man. Is it good at least? Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of the stuff, for example, their son is super overpowered. <laughs> I could only imagine. Well, Who his is he? Uh, his name is Asura, I believe. Son of Sounds familiar. Asura, son of Black Bolt. It might be something else. Ahura, Boltagon. Uh, yeah. And Inhumans is really good at reading royals. Yeah, they're really good. How uh, I've only gotten to two on Royals so far. I need to get farther. What That's is his O penis. Oh, his O penis is the uh, energy projection. He has uh, time based powers. He can oh, split his soul to create psychic phantoms. While he can only create four at once, the future version of himself has been able to create create an entire army. Uh, body God, possession like can merge Naruto with him. Type shit. Yeah, he can merge with and possess the mind of another and use that being's body as his own. Oh my goodness, that is such an overpowered character. Yeah, he can control multiple hosts, even from a distance. Uh, for example, like, like it's, uh, it's, he's strong enough with these abilities to affect Kang. So, wow. Mm. I'm surprised most of his stuff is this low, but... Yeah. He also possesses yeah, his, a hypersonic His rankings screen. are super low, except energy projection. Well, we are on the Marvel... Karnak is hands down my favorite though. Yeah, find the weakness in anything. I love it. Yes, you Al can. Although that does not always help Karnak win, as displayed in Karnak v Hulk and Karnak. V oh man, <laughs> I can only imagine how bad that turned out. Well, he tried, man. It's like it's like uh, about that, tried and then the and Hulk kind of swatted him away. <laughs> There's <laughs> actually it, Karnak's gotten a lot stronger. In the last ten years, as far as writing, wow, which is good. better because his power should allow him to do that. And actually, his power is pretty See, crazy. I gotta read more in humans. Oh yeah, his but his power is even like I think recently within like the last two years, his power let him like escape death. He found a flaw in death. And just wow. Like, yeah, so there's some crazy. Die? I don't know about that, but he has some kind of trickery. Yeah, with he death. he's definitely a, a tricksy character. But the coolest part about Karnak is that he's often underestimated by people, and because of that, he's able to take them down pretty crazily. Like, and like I said, everyone's the thing, and that, that's why certain characters... That's why Young Gene first stood out to me more than My anyone My favorite scene is when he destroys Stark's tower with just a punch. Yeah, they when Tony's trying to do the IVX, he just comes and knocks down the turret, the whole fucking... Wow. But he knows the weak spot. He knew exactly where to hit it to make it fall. Uh, Izzy, our one viewer here. Thanks for staying strong, Izzy. Yeah, we know what it's you think, one of those tough ones. What do you think, uh, Inhumans? How do you think it's gonna do? What do you think about the show? What do you think? How do you, how do you think it looks? Tell us. Talk with us. Inhumans. The trailer looks. To me, the trailer looks okay. Um, I'm. I don't know. Watching it just now, I'm still not too impressed. To be honest, like. I like it, but I'm not super impressed. I, I feel like Black Bolt's display of power is just kind of weak in that. Like I'm like, eh, he's like to be about fair, to though, open his mouth pretty, pretty well. Like he was, it almost looked like he was gonna get really intense with Maximus. But a, a car, one yeah, car. Yeah, but bro. he's, but he is also. You gotta remember there are cops there and regular people. And true, Black Bolt, true, true. And Black Bolt has ever been a hero, and more importantly. Most people don't realize that Black Bolt is like super scared of his powers. Like he's been trained his whole life so that he Shut doesn't that mouth. destroy. Well, and even like against like he's trained himself to not make a noise when he's sleeping, to not make a noise nope. when he feels pain. It takes because... an hour a day. <laughs> like he removes himself for that long, and you know Medusa's like sometimes I just wish he would talk and yeah, understandably, he but he doesn't. Like, yeah, it's he can like destroy the whole land. Well, you should see him talk him. too. Like when you do get to hear Black Bolt talk, he is—he sounds just like a king. Like really? Yeah. Uh, you should check is it there out some animation. No, well, not like that, but just the style with which he talks is very gotcha. royal and regal. Even in writing, I like you meant sound wise. No, no, I wish we uh, actually. Elegant. No, they don't have him speaking in any of the. Well, maybe in one of the Avengers. 
animated series. Might be cool to hear me. I'm just sad that Black Bolt won't have his mask and Medusa in her wig. Hello, but other than that, it looks good. Yeah, Black Bolt did kill his parents. Yeah. yeah. And Max totally always plays that through his head. Yes, he does. But it's it's definitely kind of interesting. I I will say I'm less disappointed on the Black Bolt and Medusa thing. One, because for me, Medusa is a character that doesn't exist well without Black Bolt. Yeah, they're a package deal, I mean, at least with her. Yeah, well, that's the problem. The Black Bolt exists very well without Medusa. Exactly. When you see him in other comics, although you almost never see him without her. So it's a, it is very deal, much man. a package deal. Well, go read the new the together. go read the most recent the uh, Black Bull comic. That one's pretty cool. Ooh, you is it a solo with them? Yep, solo nice. comic. Uh, there's a whole craziness about that. That comic's actually pretty insane. Is another from Izzy? I'm just no, that's the same. But What's yeah. up? Hey, we got another person in here too. Welcome. Hey. But I'm, I'm definitely was a little disappointed about things, but I think mostly I'm excited to see Karnak. I was a little disappointed in um, Gorgon, but I mean, realistically, how easy is it going to be to give him, you know, whatever goat legs or whatever the crap he has? I forget. Okay, yeah, when he's he's the he's, he's the, the stomping guy. guy. Yeah. He's this guy who slams down. Yeah, and... Like I said, it's just not realistic for me to expect To that. have the gold legs, I guess. It like, would be so much money. Like, it would be as much money as Lockdown. And I don't think they're trying to throw that much into this. No, just, I've been looking. It test. looks like they're trying to see how much they can What's make. What's the budget, actually? She does very good with that. Really? I'll have to read it. Does she... Mm. How do, does she have the rest of the Inhuman supporting cast, though, such as Karnak... Uh, what the crap is her name? I forget who Johnny Storm's Oops. old flame is. No! Phone goes down! Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, what is, uh... One sec. Is he posted? Hi, Mikey! Welcome, man. What's I think up, it Mikey? was cheaper to not give him his legs. Agreed. Sup, bro? Spent the money on Lockjaw. Agreed. Because it would have cost as much money to give Gorgon legs as it would have been to oh, have Lockjaw. God. Or at least it would have been a lot of work. Would have been a lot. I can only imagine, but let's check out the budget. I wonder what it looks like. Budget for Inhumans. Oh, that's not... That's not bad. It's, uh, if that's confirmed, though. What is it? Well, this one post says 80 to $100 million, but... I haven't. That's the very top post. It's in a forum. Oh, yeah. Well then. Let me go check out Bleeding Cool and Screen Rant and see what they say. Okay. You could even try to hit Control F and just see budget. Type in budget. <laughs> Spent the money on Lockjaw. For real. For real, though. Budget. Budget. Budget, budget. Oh, no yeah, that's figures. Sounds... No official figures. So we don't even know what we're really looking at quite yet, y'all. I mean, there's not a Wikipedia page. I got one, but I have mad distrust issues. Let's see. Doesn't say. Let's look for budget. It oh, says it has a television budget, whatever that may be. Right. I'm like, uh. Very vague. Way to be vague there. Yeah, and actually that 80 to 100 million thing was actually how much it would bring to Hawaiian economy for the jobs created by filming there. Oh, wow. That's Which pretty is cool. cool. Yeah, I, I helps out Hawaii. It. Great. I appreciate that. So I, is this plot line one of the ones from the comics? I don't know or what plot original? line. Yeah, Honestly, we, every plot line of Inhumans ever is Maximus trying to take over from Black Bolt. <laughs> like, yeah, it's going to be another speaking, adaption of that. Like, there's other stuff to do with the Kree. There's stuff to do with like Thanos and a couple space things. But realistically, that is the main the majority of uh, the struggle. That. Spent the money on Lockjaw. Definitely spent the money on Lockjaw. I'm happy with that. The Lockjaw is actually better than every other Inhuman, in my opinion. They certainly didn't spend that money on um, Jessica Jones, that's for sure. Gosh. Like I said, I keep seeing more and more people are just like, even Mikey. So Mikey went and watched it finally too, and he's like, it doesn't seem that bad. I it's was like, not that bad, admittedly. It, the problem is in comparison. 
to the in others. In comparison yeah. to the others, I feel Jessica Jones. It's not is terrible, like, but like if you line it up once next again, to Luke Cage, Defenders, Iron, well, and the problem, Iron Fist. Yeah. And the problem being, and here's why I think it doesn't stack, is not a superhero show. It is it's not a, a superhero show. show. <laughs> it's a detective. Nope, nothing new, but that's fine. Squirreling. Oh. And so with all that, oh, also special thanks to, we'll take a second since Mikey's on, we're going to say thanks to all our patrons. Yes. Uh, thank you to Mikey Neve. Cy Kennedy, Tyler Lockridge, um, Susie Marie, and uh, one Kevin of our Schrute. newest one, Kevin Screw. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks so Jessica much. Jessica Jones is so good to me. Okay, See, I like just a lot of people have to go through and rewatch. I don't know. I rewatched it and it was better than the first time, but it was still not. I still couldn't. I couldn't get through a second watch. I, I just oh, I'm like, uh. Like I said, I thought it was much better knowing what was coming, but it was not that high on my list. She's still bottom on my list for the Marvel ones. Yeah, but I I guess I'm seeing now that more people enjoy her than I thought. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, like, I have a lot of people who ha have only seen Jessica Jones, and they're like, wow, this is, like, so great. Which, I'm like, like watch I said, the others. My, both my parents were like, I couldn't watch that. Yeah. I couldn't get through the first episode. What? Literally, they Jessica both Jones? said that. And they, they didn't even know. The first know. four episodes are pretty much the same setup. The same but, thing's going on every time. She's in like episode said, fucking Luke Cage. <laughs> like, great. Yep. So fun. But, like I said, it's good to hear, I guess, that they have some. Oh, yeah. JJ, yeah, wouldn't rewatch it. Also, wouldn't watch a second season if they came out with it. Okay. I like detective shows. I think... I do, I do. but... But I, I didn't like feel that, that was very detective-y either. That's the problem. It, it, it had girl stumbling around and stuff. And all right, but that's heroics. my thing. So the, the cool thing about a detective show for me is the revealing of the mystery, right? Mm -hmm. Where did we get that in Jessica Jones? Nowhere. Mm -hmm. It was a fight against Kilgrave. Yep. <laughs> but it wasn't a super-powered fight because she almost never used her Kevin, we just mentioned you, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for me. popping in. We're heading towards our last few minutes, man, but... Yeah, Please, thank you for coming feel through. free to give your input about what you think about Inhumans. Oh, we'd love to hear um, We're definitely trying to see it tomorrow. Hopefully we can get there, which will be awesome, and we will break it down next week. Wish, Wish I could have made, made it, but I'm at the Broncos game. I'll have to watch the videos later. No worries, no problem, man. man. Thanks for, thanks thanks for, for doing supporting your anyway. In. Yep. Hope you have fun at the game. Hope we're doing well. Yeah, Broncos. I, hope, I hope we're doing well as well. I, I heard it was kind of boring for a while, but maybe it picked up, hopefully. Uh, I feel most preseason's pretty boring. Yeah, and that's why I don't go to preseason games. I'm just like, hmm. Well, uh, but happen. actually, while we're here, Izzy, do you remember the name of the Inhuman Princess who is Johnny Storm's ex? I can't remember. NDK is tomorrow. Wow. I, I got... Was it you who invited me to NDK or somebody else? I think it was him who invited me to NDK. Somebody invited me to NDK. This oh, I haven't been to NDK in a while. I went a while back, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go tomorrow. If we oh, have to go see so Inhumans. so sudden. Inhumans. Come on, Izzy. You said you wanted to see Inhumans, man. Man. If we go to 10 o'clock, would you come? Because then... In that case, we could just wait till 10 o'clock, and then it'd be best for all of us. Yeah, and then I might even be able to stop by NDK before, if that's the problem. I'd be dumb. As long as I have time, I was like, I just gotta get out of work and go over. Crystal. Crystal! Yes, Crystal! Crystal of the Inhuman Royal Family. Thank you. Good night. I don't even remember <laughs> the fucking powers. <laughs> to control Crystal. But that's gotta be who that main character is, right? That seemed like such a Crystal character. She even reminded me of the look, like the character that uh, Triton picks up in the forest, mm -hmm. the girl. Hmm. Like she looks like, here, let me put up the picture of Crystal, you'll see. I can't believe I didn't remember that. That's a huge thing in the Avengers thing. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Emma Quillen. I can't spell. Oh my, saying. Emma Quillen. Emma Quillen. Quaaludes. No. <laughs> <laughs> she can control elements. Nice. That's a dope power. That's pretty Ice cool. and fire. Well, she, I think she can do rock and wind too. Great. She's the Avatar. Master yeah. of all. Where Aang was she when the... been reborn into her? But but when we needed her most, and the X she vanished in the X Nation attack. <laughs> Oh, Which is shit. sadly basically what happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All to right. be to be fair, the Inhuman started that shit. Boom, there you go. Starting bull crap. But anyway, like guys. Can't just release miss. Um special shout out again um to our patrons. 
by the way. Kevin Screw, thanks for coming out tonight. Mikey, Susie Marie, Cy Kennedy, Tyler Lockridge. Guys, thank you so much for contributing. We've had great, great, great results. Yeah, I am fighting you. Uh, yes, 10 sounds good. Right on. I'll let you know for sure, Izzy, tomorrow after. I got to see when I get out of work because it ranges. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we will see you guys next week. Thanks and we'll so be talking about in. this and what else is coming up in the Geekverse. Everything coming. Yes. See you guys next week. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.